My name is Ben Hart and I am a magician. And I'm here at the amazing Camera Obscura in Edinburgh. I'm enjoying being back at this mad festival that I've missed for all these years. My show this year is like, what happens if you lock a magician up for two years of COVID and let their imagination run wild. I've supercharged my show to play this enormous, very cool venue, and it's bigger and bolder and creepier and more magical than it's ever been before. Audiences can expect to see real magic performed completely live without camera tricks, of course, and uh, can expect to share a feeling of wonder with other audience members. Every night I get to hear the audience gasp with amazement and it's so rare to get that feeling. It's such a delight to be bringing it to the public. I arrived in Edinburgh about a week ago, although it's hard to tell because time seems to stand still at this festival. I love being in Edinburgh, it's one of my favourite cities, so when I'm not doing the show I like to walk around. Every year I do the same tourist things. I've been coming to Edinburgh on and off for the Fringe for 10 years. I still go and do all the tourist things every time and uh, a lot of sleeping when I'm not performing. Turns out, doing a show is hard work. When I'm not performing, I design special effects and magic tricks for theater and film, and uh, just finished working on the latest Mission Impossible film, I had to teach Tom Cruise sleight of hand, which was a very strange and interesting experience. Tom Cruise is my best ever student. He's very dedicated, he understands the camera, and he's a perfectionist. There are a lot of magicians here for the festival. I try not to socialise too much with magicians because we're all freaky, creepy people with a lot of secrets. <laughs> so I find that mixing too much means you end up sort of going down the rabbit hole and getting lost in a fantasy world. It's sometimes good to stay rooted in reality. Talking about staying rooted in reality, I've no idea what's going on in here. Thank you for having us all. We've all had a great time, haven't we, Ben? Yes, we have, Ben. Well, this is an interesting uh, piece of magic. It's something of an observation test. I will tear off a little strip of paper, like this. Now, I'm gonna get the paper wet, and that will allow me to tear off little squares, which I'm gonna stick one at a time to the blade of this knife. And it's your job to watch really closely to make sure that you follow along. That's one piece of paper there on the blade of the knife, and another piece there, that's two pieces, and on the opposite side, that's one piece here, and that's finally one piece there. All right, I'll tidy that up later. Now, the question is how many pieces of paper are there on the knife? Obviously, there's four, two on this side and two on the opposite side. I'm now going to take them off one at a time, which raises the question, why did I bother sticking them on in the first place? However, we get rid of the piece that's there and the piece on the opposite side, leaving just two pieces. That's that one there and that one there. Get rid of this piece and finally on the opposite side, leaving nothing on the knife. That's nothing on this side and nothing on this side. Now, here's where the magic happens. You just tap the knife three times against the glass and they all come back. I've no idea how that works myself. Terrifying life that I lead. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to come and see my show, it's called Wonder at the Pleasance Courtyard every day at 7.50. It's not built around me, this hole, that's for sure.